My truth is, it's hard being black. My truth is, being a black woman in America, I am looked down on and attacked for being comfortable and confident in the skin I'm in. My truth is that I was raised in a completely white, wealthy, and privileged town. I was raised being told I was fast and athletic because I was black, that my brother could jump high because he's black. Um, I had pretty hair for a black girl. My truth is that I am a black man in America. My truth is, is that I've always felt like I needed to work twice as hard athletically, academically, and in any extracurricular activities to be given the same recognition as some of my white counterparts. My truth is, is that I have white privilege. I come from a city where not a lot of people understand my struggles. Not a lot of people understand what I gotta live through and what I gotta do on a day-to-day -day basis. As black women in America, we are shunned for everything. From the texture of our hair, the shade of our skin, the tone in our voice, and the shapes of our bodies. I went to a high school where it's completely white, completely privileged. Everybody walks around saying the N-word like they invented it. And it got to a point where if I would call people out on it, I was the one shamed. I was the one who was in the wrong. And it got to a point where I just let it happen. Every day I fear more and more that my little brother will grow up in a world where he will be judged by the color of his skin. Every day I feel the pain of my people. We have to beat the system, racism, and poverty in America. I come from a city where there's police officers who mistakes can lead to my death. And not a lot of people understand that. Unfortunately, this day and time, because of who I am and my appearance, I will always be prejudged at work, in the classroom, and by society for what they see rather than what they know to be true of me. I have to live my life worrying about things that a lot of other people ain't got to worry about. Not a lot of people understand and not a lot of people care simply because they don't have to live through it every single day. I used to think that I can't make a difference because I'm not racist and I don't discriminate and I don't say the n-word and so on. But the truth is is that I can make a difference by no longer sitting down and being complacent, but by standing up and speaking up for the black community. I get terrified that one day I'll get stopped by a police officer and I won't make it home to my family, that I won't know what kind of man my brother grows up to be. I'm concerned that today is the day I'm gonna die at the hands of the police. I worry that if the notion of being passionate and having the ability to express my beliefs to the fullest continues to be interpreted as aggressive and hostile, that it may affect my overall success in the future. Today what worries me is that one day my little brothers will grow up to be seen as threats or as scary to society rather than the bright-minded individuals that they are who can give positive contributions to our future. I also worry that the black men in my life, whether protecting themselves or someone they love, may be seen as a threat to their community and face the ultimate consequences of being a black male in America. It's terrifying to know that these issues aren't new. These issues have existed for many years and I'm worried that if we don't make a change now, my brother will grow up in a world where he might not make it to be 18 years old. He might not even make it to high school. And no one should ever feel that way. Um, no one should have their family member taken from them because someone didn't like how their skin looked. Like that seems so outrageous to me and I don't understand why people still think that way. My truth is, is that I have been silent when I should have spoken out against injustices. I was scared to make waves with my white counterparts and friends, to lose likability, and to be judged for having different beliefs than other people. Now I'm not going to be quiet anymore. I am going to speak out. My truth is that I'm now finally comfortable in my own skin. I'm comfortable speaking out against racism and against people saying the N-word. I think it's important that we use what power we have to speak out about these issues, to make change. We have the conversations with our families, our friends, anyone we know, and we educate each other, and we demand that we take action on these matters. I want people to understand that black lives matter. I want people to understand that we are not less than. I want people to understand that we don't have to look a certain way to be accepted. I speak up for myself. I speak up for my family. 
I speak up for the city of Oakland. I speak up for those who can't speak up anymore. I speak up for those who are scared to speak up. And I speak up for the black community because if no one tells our struggles, then no one will care. We're not expecting you to understand what we go through. All we ask is that you respect it. It is not enough for us to just celebrate Black History Month and learn about Martin Luther King and Rosa Parks. It's not enough for us to just say all lives matter because they don't. All lives do not matter until everyone is equal 